Good afternoon, everyone. 1,500 years ago, the Roman Empire was crushed by a grand solar minimum called the Late Antique Little Ice Age. Jumping over into Central Asia, several proxy indicators from 535 to 560 AD show drastic cooling across the Northern Hemisphere, all the way down to the Bahamas. And when we line it up and look at the planetary geometry, a lot of similarity between the 500s and what's coming up in 2024. That era had extreme weather events, plague of the Justinian, 13% of the world's population declined. All the while, all we do is discuss warming on the planet. What if this comes back and we're unprepared? We should at least be discussing cooling at the moment and the possibility of this next grand solar minimum that's already started having the same effect. And please press that subscribe button. Fifteen hundred years ago, the downfall of the Roman Empire, now there's confirmation that a mini ice age during the time contributed to that. Taking a look at the time frame between 536 AD up to 550 AD approximately, called the Little Antique Ice Age, extreme weather events, volcanic activity, global cooling, which all had a drastic effect on societies at that time. These extreme weather events, failure after failure after failure of crops, even a dense dry fog in the Middle East, extending all the way down to Peru, which is in the Southern Hemisphere, so this was a global event. People's immune systems became very weak and it ushered in the plague of the Justinian, which resurfaced again in the 1300s, called the Black Death. 13% of the world's population wiped out, along with volcanic winters during that time due to extreme ash fallout of the atmosphere. Tree ring reconstruction data from Central Asia and the Altai Mountains, right here on the map, directly in the center, those areas there proxy for the temperature reconstructions. And if you look at the dark area right around 600 AD, you can see that drastic drop off quickly. It was a three year event. Temperatures went from normal to minus 3C in three years. So this whole thing about global climate change is going to take hundreds of years. It can happen much, much faster than that. Staying within Central Asia, look at different pollen counts so you know how much plant life was growing during that time. Anywhere there's a dark bar, that's a grand solar minimum. When we look at temperature reconstructions across the planet during that exact same time, Dark Age is cooling, 500, it even happened in the Bahamas, dropped off right there around 530 or so. When we look at the late antique ice age, I put this chart together here, 540, arrow points to the first dip, 578, second dip, third graphic. That is our lineup that's coming up in 2024. I want you to notice the similarity between 578. And with all this talk of scientists across the planet saying we are entering a grand solar minimum, we should at least be discussing the possibilities of this having the same effect on our agriculture, volcanic activity, earthquake increases, and plagues going to rip through this planet that we're unprepared for. And global temperatures are related to the sunspots. Absolutely, there's a correlation between the two, and we're going to drop off right down to zero sunspots again like the Maunder Minimum. It's going to have an effect on the total solar irradiance, the amount of UV that kills mold and blight on our crops. So many factors are going to happen during this solar minimum. And we look at the collapse of the Wei dynasty, the collapse of the Roman Empire. And we think we're going to be immune from this because we have just-in-time delivery. It's probably going to be even more traumatic because very few people know how to grow their own food or survive in the cold. So we should be discussing plan B instead of all this global warming hype. 2024 alignment, here you go. Matching right up, Earth sandwiched between those two pairs, and whoa, that is going to be the bottom of the cold. Get ready, you have seven years or less. Actually, the rollover years this year, the crop losses are going to begin right now into 2018, intensifying through 2019 into global food shortages by 2020. And with all that said, take a look at Trade Genius. Talk to Bob, the trading strategies they're using over there with the Grand Solar Minimum as they see declines in agricultural output. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. I encourage you to analyze this information on your own and draw your own conclusions and set out your own sustainability plans. 
And please remember to press that subscribe button and I'll keep more information like this coming to you.